Good morning, everyone. Hey everyone, so I just woke up. I thought I would take you through my day and show you guys what I'm doing because we can't really go outside of the house. I honestly don't do very much, but you know what? What the heck, I have nothing else to film and this might be interesting. If you're new, welcome, I'm Maddie. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm not gonna do my makeup or anything because I don't do that on an everyday basis. This vlog is gonna be very real and unfiltered and just an honest day in my life video. It's about noon and I'm gonna go make myself something to eat in the kitchen and I'll show you guys what I do. Make myself for breakfast every day. I've been eating the same thing for the past two weeks now because I have um, a stomach problem where I can't really easily digest food. So we're trying to figure out what to do in the meantime before I go to the doctors. Um, but if you're like experiencing bloating or stomach pain, abdominal pain, like gas, all this other stuff, then I'm in the same boat. If you have like any suggestions as to what I should be doing, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, keep watching and I'll show you guys what I do to help my stomach not bloat. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna make my breakfast. In the morning, I usually eat about half a cup of egg whites, um, half an avocado, and then two slices of bacon. This is just the Kirkland brand. I'm gonna use this avocado oil cooking spray and just spray it on the pan. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go make the bacon and put it in the microwave while I let this cook and then cut up this avocado. And I'll show you guys the final plate because I'm sure you don't really wanna watch me cook all this. So, BRB. This is what my breakfast looks like. So I have two eggs, some ketchup, egg whites, and half an avocado. And I just sprinkle it with some of the Trader Joe's everything but bagel seasoning and a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Cheers. Okay guys, so I kind of touched on this earlier in the bathroom, but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about some of the progress that I've been making with my stomach issues. Now, I have kind of been self-diagnosed by my parents that we think I have some sort of IBS, something bowel syndrome. I don't even know what it's called, but basically I have problems digesting certain amounts of food, certain types of food, irritable bowel syndrome is what it's called. I just like noticed for a while now that my stomach was just constantly bloating all the time after I would eat. I would have a lot of gas pain in my stomach. I've experienced acid reflux before, but just a lot of like uncomfortableness in my stomach, a lot of pressure in my stomach. So like if you were to like put pressure onto my stomach, it would hurt a lot. Um, and so I decided that I would just make a couple dietary changes before I went to the doctor to see what was actually maybe going on. I've been taking supplemental pills and probiotics, and I also have this glutamine um, powder I put in my green tea every day which I'll show you guys later when I drink it so far it's been okay I do notice that some types of food will make my stomach hurt more than others this egg whites and avocado and bacon every day have been pretty much not really giving me a stomach ache which is why I've been eating the same thing every day I have gone gluten-free so I don't know if that has been helping it's really tough because sometimes I'll be eating gluten-free snacks and whatever and then my stomach will start to hurt so I don't know if I should be gluten -free free or if I shouldn't. Anyways, that's just like the update I have on my situation right now. Definitely maybe would like to make a video on it because I've done a bunch of research on YouTube for, you know, people dealing with IBS and I found some helpful videos and I thought that it would be interesting just to make maybe some like recipe style video, but this is all like once I have my actual diet figured out and whatnot. But that was just the update for that. Um, it's already one. My days go by very fast because I wake up late and I stay up late watching Netflix. Now we're gonna go 
if you can see i have my little station back there i've been working on some clothes and designing some clothes and sewing them and diying some stuff so i'll take you guys a little bit through what i do with that but if you guys didn't know i have an instagram shop called shop mad one x i sell reworked clothing taking old clothes and turning them into something more wearable so yeah if you guys are interested in checking that out i'll link it down below and it'll be on the screen also for those of you who don't know which you probably don't since uh, i haven't said anything i'm not in school anymore school ended about a week ago yeah so i have basically this whole month of may off of school and then I start school up again in June for summer classes. But it's all gonna be virtual due to the whole corona thing. So yeah, I am not doing any school right now, which is great. So let's just go to my little workshop station back there. Okay, so one of the projects that I've been working on have been kind of like reworking sweatshirts that I already own. So like taking sweatshirts I don't really wear, turning them into something new. So I took a sweatshirt. Okay, just for reference, because I don't have the sweatshirt with me, it kind of looked like this. It was just a huge oversized sweater. I cut the bottom, so I cropped it, and then using the material from the bottom half of the sweater, I made this tank top, which I think is super cute. But the only thing with this, I have to fix the sleeves on this because they're too long on me. I need to take them in about this much. So that's what we're going to do. My least favorite thing is de-threading thread from clothes. It's the worst ever. I hate it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay. And I'm trying to de-thread all of this. And I like went over it. Focus, focus, yeah. I went over it three times to secure it and now I have to take it all off. Like I was saying earlier, I've been watching a lot of Netflix, especially at night when I'm laying in bed. I'm currently re-watching New Girl for the second time. If you guys have any recommendations as to what Netflix shows I should be watching, please, please leave them down below in the comments because I am running out of things to watch and Netflix isn't doing a very good job at updating their selection. So I've seen pretty much a lot of shows. I've seen In the Dark, which if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend. It's probably one of my favorite shows. Vampire Diaries. All this other stuff. I need to like tighten it like this much. So I was gonna de-thread it and then just bring it down. Yeah, actually, sorry, I'm in mean, great. Mm -hmm. Some ideas that you guys could be doing if you're bored at home. I would say I've gotten into painting. So I've been painting stuff. When I say stuff, I've painted one. Mostly I've just been working on my clothes. De-threading is so annoying, how many? I know. I don't like it. I am going to dethread this off camera because you're just looking at my face. I don't even think you can see me dethreading. I'll be right back. And after I dethread this and sew the sleeves back on, we are going to make patterns so I can make these tops again in the future. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> needle just broke uh -oh. update i just broke the needle off of the sewing machine the needle has come off and it is not there anymore while i wait for my mom to get back home we are going to make a pattern for this okay because i messed up i don't know what i did to the sewing machine i broke it i am going to be taking this top obviously the sleeves are supposed to be attached but it isn't making a pattern like i said so i'm going to need newspaper You guys see me? So I'll be having to make two of these for the straps and then this is the front and back for the top. Now I have nothing to do until the needle gets fixed. So let's go watch some TV because that's what I would normally do. What did I do? I am a mess. Hey, is my phone over there in the kitchen? Uh, Never mind, I found it. Oh. 
Do you want to say hi to my vlog? Oh, okay. How many you want to say hi? Yeah. My vlog. I can't see. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> you look pretty. Hi. <laughs> okay, Netflix time. Yeah. This has been my position on the couch for the past couple weeks. Am I embarrassed? No. Maybe a little bit. All right, I'm going to continue watching New Girl. Also, no one suggests I watch Tiger King because I will not watch that show. I will not. I'm on season four, episode one of New Girl. I've just started re-watching it maybe like three days ago. Okay, that's all. It's currently 1.30 and I'm probably gonna watch it for like an hour. We'll see. I have my weighted blanket here. It's very nice. And I'll see you guys when I'm off the couch. Peace. Okay guys, I'm still on the couch, but I thought I would show you guys what I'm eating as a snack. These are some gluten-free chip thingies that my mom got from the store. And then I'm also eating this. Still watching. Hey guys, so I'm back at the sewing machine. My mom fixed the needle. It's currently also just for a time update. It's almost four o'clock. The needle broke. Okay guys, this is the finished top that I made right here. And then also I just wanted to show you guys some of these sweatshirts that I've made have also turned out that are available for sale on Shop Mad One X. I have a Georgia State one, I have a University of South Carolina one, and then I have a Georgia Tech one. These two are tie-dyed, and then the, all three of them have like this gemstone detailing on them. I just found out I got a package. I was trying to figure out where it was from, and it's from Dippin' and Daisies. This video is not sponsored by them, but they sent over some of their new collection swimsuits. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you guys any of these. Oh, so cute. I can't wait to wear these. Thank you, Dippin' and Daisies. Look out on my Instagram because I will be posting some bikini pics soon. Hey everyone, so I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been making every day to help with my bloating and digestive issues. So my dad ordered this L-glutamine powder. It has a bunch of amino acids. So I take about a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of matcha powder, mix it in and make a iced matcha drink. I'm going to first boil a bunch of water. So got that boiling and then I'm gonna take a packet of stevia because I like to put this in my matcha. Makes it sweeter. And then I'm gonna grab a cup. So I'm gonna fill this up with um, some water. I'm gonna take this L-glutamine powder and put it in the water. So about that much. Just about that. Take my boiling water. I'm just gonna take this spoon and just mix it. And I'm gonna take this and pour it in here, hopefully without spilling it. I also take about this much ice and just pour it in. So that's what I've been making every day to help. It is recommended you take it in between meals tastes like matcha. The only thing, you could just drink this without the matcha if you just wanna put like water in it. It is like kinda of chalky tasting, so that's why I mix the matcha in personally. And then earlier, I didn't vlog this, but I ate some spicy tuna rolls. They were really good. I don't know, this isn't really a, what I eat in a day, but this is my little gluten-free section right here in the pantry. It is currently 5.38 p.m. I'll keep you guys updated for what I do next. Okay, peace. Forgot I was vlogging for a split second, but I'm currently making gluten-free, dairy-free chocolate chip cookies. Just mixing up the batter. It's a little crumbly. All right, I'm gonna add a touch of egg whites, just a little, maybe that was too much, I don't know. I'm gonna mix this bad boy. So, batter looks like that. I'm gonna lay them out on a pan. I'm 
gonna put these in the oven for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna go look for some chocolate chips because we're gonna see if we can make more. Oh wait, I found some. Yeah, baby. Okay, this is like my baking the cake video for Avery all over again. Okay, we're gonna make this again. But this time, I'm gonna show you guys what I actually did. A little cooking with Maddie sesh. Okay, I feel like that's a good setup. Come on, get up, come on. Yep. Wanna say hi to my vlog? Hi, vlog. Okay, we're gonna need one egg. We need three fourths cup of gluten free flour. I use this kind. Oh, I have the hiccups, it's making me burp. <laughs> Sound like Charlie from Lily Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Okay, we need <coughs> two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. And then I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And then also requires a pinch of salt. And then we're gonna add the egg that we whisked. And then what we're gonna do is add two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then while we have that melt, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I noticed that the batter was a little crummy the first time I did it. I'm just gonna add a little small thing of egg whites. And then we're gonna add chocolate chips. These are what the cookies came out to look like. These were the first batch, which I smushed. It is 10.30 right now. Well, I'm currently getting ready for bed. Not really, I'm gonna go lay in bed and watch Netflix. I hope you liked today's vlog. Basically what I've been doing every single day for the past week. Make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. And I might film some more day in my lives if the day is more interesting than the previous one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.